Titus 3. Um, remember the people to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready to do whatever is good, to slander no one, to be peaceable and considerate, and to show true humility towards all men. At one time, we too were foolish, disobedient, deceiving, and enslaved by all kinds of passions and pleasures. We live we lived in malice and envy, being hated and hating one another. But when the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of righteous things we have done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewing by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through the through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs, having the hope of eternal life. This is a trustworthy saying, and I want to stress these things so that those who have trusted in God might be careful to devote themselves to doing what is good. These things are excellent and profitable for everyone but avoid foolish controversies on genealogies and arguments and quarrels about the law because it is unprofitable and useless warn and devise warn in a divisive person once and then warn him a second time. After that, have nothing to do with him. You may be sure that such a man is warped and sinful. He is, he is self-condemned.